Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God, yes, Lord, forever, forever. He changed our lives. What a wonderful thing that the Savior did. Praise God forever. Not just one day, not just two days, but forever. Praise God. We are so elated to be back once again with you. Yes, yes, yes. Snack time with Bishop Dr. Bell. Yes. We're glad to be coming into your homes, coming into your automobiles. You may be in the hospital, wherever you may be, praise God, and you're tuning in with us today. We say thank you once again. Yes. We thank the Lord for our own pastor, praise God, the none other than Bishop Dr. Reginald Bell. He is our overseer and our pastor, 3505 Avenue F in Inslee, the Bible Way House of Prayer. You ought to come on out and hear a word from God, from the great man of God. He loves you, and I love you too. Yes. I just thank the Lord for we love encouraging God's people and telling them to hold on, praise God, to God's unchanging hand because God loves you and he'll never turn you loose. And whatever situation you're in, he'll step right in there with you. I thank the Lord for him saving me, sanctifying me, and filling me with his precious, precious gift of the Holy Ghost. And I just thank the Lord. We want to give a shout out to the Bible way. Yes, we thank God for you, the precious saints of God. Thank the Lord for Facebook. We thank God for all of you. And we just thank the Lord for you joining back again with me. Part four, praise God. Because of God's amazing love, his desire is none will perish. Isn't that something? God don't want anyone to perish. He would that everyone would come to him and listen to his voice and receive all these good things that he has prepared for us. And I just thank the Lord for how that one day, praise God, Jesus found me wandering far from God. And he brought me into his chosen fold. And I just thank the Lord today I come with encouraging words because the body is hardwired to do wrong. He found us all, what? Doing what we wanted to do, didn't he? Yes, no matter where you were, no matter where I were, when the precious Jesus, you know, came and tapped us and we heard the word of God and we began to receive it and accept it for what it could do, he found us all doing just what we wanted to do. But I just thank the Lord for knowing. You knew that was hope and that was help. So did I. And I just thank the Lord. It is a blessing to know that we got some help right there. Right. We are not in this by ourselves. He never intended for us to be stressed all out thinking that we had to do it by ourselves. No. He loves us just that much. Facebook, the blessing in this is, hallelujah, you were made by God and for God. Yes, you didn't know that, did you? Yes, you were made by God and for God. And until you understand that, life will never make sense. I feel you. It didn't make sense to me either. You know, I just thought I was just in the world, walking around, doing what I wanted to do, praise God. Until one day, yes, I was you. The ones that haven't came in, I was you. Doing what I wanted to do until life didn't make sense, you know, yes. You heard the preacher preaching, heard the deacon teaching, but hey. So you heard everybody say, hey, we've been hearing this for a long time. Jesus ain't coming back. Hey, we've been hearing it for a long time. He hadn't came back yet. But guess what? One day, I began to think about it. Actually, one day he is. 
it's not like everybody think he's gone forever and just cause everybody, you know, walking around doing what they want to do. One day he's going to come back. And one day, you know, all of us, we got to be prepared to go back with him. And I just thank the Lord he got a great place that he's fixing for us. And we're going to leave this world down here with all this sin and Satan and all his darkness. And one day, guess what? We're going to be in heaven, a prepared place for a prepared people. But guess what? It's just like, you know, when you get ready, you know, husband and wife, or, or you going on a date, praise God, you have to get ready for that date, right? And you be excited to go on that date, right? Well, we're down here on earth. And guess what? We're getting prepared to go to heaven. So this is the time now for us to be preparing ourselves. Because one day we're going to leave this old place. And we're going to our prepared place. But he's leaving this space now so that everything can be lined out just right. So when he cracked the heavens, come for so far to get his precious jewel, we're going to be ready, right? Because we're going to hear the word of God. We're going to believe the word of God. We're going to put action into that word and do it, right? We're going to be ready because we don't want to be left behind. And I just thank the Lord, you know, for knowing, praise God, Jesus has already died on the cross. He has cleared the path. But the question today is, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to continue to live in darkness with Satan? Or God is saying, will you walk away? Yes, whatever it is, walk away from it and live in the light with me. That's what God's saying. You can walk away right now. Let's continue to talk about it. You thought I was to die for. That's the picture. You know, Jesus died. He thought that we were so valuable. He thought that we was of great price that he got up on the cross. Guess what? He didn't tell you to get up there. He didn't, you don't read nowhere in the Bible where he told me to get up there. But what did he say? He was going to get up there. So that gives you something to be excited about. I don't care what it is that you're going on. You may be having something going on in your life. Right now, you may have a sickness. It may be something that you just think that not going right is all out of whack. But guess what? You got help? Yes, Jesus is here to help. And today, he wants to bring others into his fold. Will you be one to come? One day, somebody gave me that invitation, and I came. Think about it as I continue on in part four in this series. Precious heart, because of Jesus' love. Think about it. This would be the message of the hour, the invitation to bring more sheep into his fold until the world ends. If you haven't joined with us, today is your day. You know the greatness about this invitation. Everyone all over the world would get invited to be a part of this great feast that is being prepared for his chosen jewels. Guess what? No one will be able to say they was not invited or oh, I didn't get an invitation. You know, sometimes when invitation goes out, they make out the list, but guess what? Sometimes they leave somebody out, but not here, not on this list, not on Jesus' list, hallelujah. No one will be left out. Everyone is going to get that invitation. And I just thank the Lord. You know why? Because everyone is important in the eyes of God. He loves everyone the same. He has no respect to person. This is the reason we have this great opportunity today. That's the reason I had an opportunity. Because you know what? He didn't look over nobody and say, 
you can't come in and say that one can. You know, he didn't have them lined up and saying, you can come, you can, you can. He said, everybody come, come. So today he's calling you. He's saying, come, come over here. And I just thank the Lord, and I am so excited because he thought we was good enough to give his life for us. Before I get started into my message, I'm going to pray this intercessory prayer with you. Dear Father, it saddens our hearts to see the great suffering of your beloved children here on earth. We bring to mind all those in our locality who find themselves sometimes in very hard places, hallelujah. But how many know you're there? We especially pray for those who suffer physically with illness or mentally or mentally who suffer physically with illness or mentally with depression or anxiety. Lord, we ask that you would extend your hand of mercy and touch right now. Go into the hospital, go into the home, go into the job, go into the cars, and touch right now, Lord Jesus. We know that only you can do. Only you. And we're asking you right now, Lord, to touch. Let it not be the same. Let them know, God, they don't have to be depressed, oppressed. Let them know right now, God, that they can make it, that there is help in your word, and that you can uplift them. And I would praise God. This is my prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I just thank the Lord as I go into my scripture on today, my main scripture, you know, that I always come with. Wherefore, when he, talking about Jesus, that great man of Jesus, cometh into the world, he says, sacrifice and offering. Thou wouldest not, but a body hast thou prepared me. Talking about his dad, God. God prepared Jesus, the body, to come here. And I just thank the Lord, Facebook, the body is to do God's will. And I just thank the Lord, you know, on last week, how that, you know, I left off on the body is to do God's will. And I thank the Lord for how that the lust of the flesh are persistent. I just thank the Lord, the eyes lust to look at impure things. The thoughts turn easily to things which are wrong. And we just thank the Lord for how that on last week, we went into all of this. The thoughts turn easily to things which are wrong because it's hardwired. Like I've been saying all through these series, Precious Heart, it's not your fault. It's not my fault. It was already here when we got here. And it's going to be here until we leave. To think wrong things, malice, envy, greed. Loss. Why? Because these things are natural, see, to the human flesh. So don't beat up on yourself. These things are natural to the human flesh. But guess what? There's help. You don't have to stay like that. That's why Jesus died. And it says, as I studied, the lust are the cause of all the corruption in the world, both big and small. Yes, when you see all of this happening, and praise God, that's why, precious heart, we should pray. Because all of this is happening. Why? Human flesh, lust, 
part of darkness, what Satan got going on. But guess what? God got some good things going on as well. But God did not give us a body to indulge in lust and desires. We know Jesus came and he went through the same thing. But guess what? Jesus didn't bow. And that's let you know, precious heart, we can make it also. He prepared a body for us. See, I told you to do his will. Yes. Overcome the wicked one, which is Satan. Satan is the one that I told you just a while ago. He's the one that causes all this corruption. But we were made to do the will of God. You will be done, your will will be done where? On earth as it is in heaven. See, we're down here on earth right now. And we're here to do the will of the Father. And I just thank the Lord. Somebody say, well, what is God's will for us? I praise God, precious heart, once again. I'm here to help you. It says, our sanctification that we are conformed to the image of Christ. See? And we cannot be sanctified. See? Conformed. He wants us to be conformed to the image of him. And conform means he wants us to bring, he wants to bring us to become similar in form, in nature, our character. See, remember when we just talked on some of the lusts of the flesh? We were made for God. You remember that picture what I told you? God made us. And, we, and he's the one that made us. And he made us to live for him. And I just thank the Lord. You were made by God. And precious heart, you were made for God. And until you understand that, life will never make any sense. You know, I'm probably up here talking right now, and if you're not really listening and you're not really just blocking everything out to really hear, you're going to say the same thing. I'm just here to do what I want to do, but you're not, precious heart. You are so special, and like I was saying on last week, all of us have a job. You have a job in the vineyard, in the kingdom of God. He hired you. Some got hired on last week. Some been hired for years. And I just thank the Lord, you know, for knowing. See, Satan wants to continue to blanket the world with darkness. Precious heart, someone might be saying, but I don't believe that. I'm doing, I'm doing this. And listen, I. You hear, you know, every time people be talking, I, 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 I. You get me? I, what I want to do, I, I, I. But it's whatever being done on a daily basis, is it alignment with the word of God? After all the eyes, after all the get through doing what you want to do, everybody know how to read the word of God, right? You're going to hear the pastor preaching, or you're going to read it at home at your liver time. But think about it. As we go about every day on a daily basis, it's what we're doing, alignment with the word of God. And just think about it, precious heart. While you're doing whatever it is that you're doing, think about it. We don't know when God is coming back, but he may come at 1 o'clock in the morning. He may come at 2 o'clock. Three, maybe 12 o'clock at midnight. But what were you doing? Just think about it. What you're doing right now, think about it. Everybody all over the world, whatever you're doing right now, if God come back, will you go back with him? That's just like I said, just like that's just how he's going to come back. None of us knows. But you know, just like when we get ready and we're getting ready to go out of town, everybody get those suitcases and sit them by the door. Hey, we got to be ready just like that. Hey, glory to God, because we don't know. 
But we got to be ready, making sure you got everything packed right in that suitcase to go on that job, to go on vacation and have a good time. Well, what about our souls? What about the vessels that God made for him? Did we make sure every day we're getting everything packed? Because one day God's going to come and get us and we'll get on to heaven to enjoy ourselves just like a natural vacation. So saints and loved ones, that is something to be excited about just like you get excited to go on the road, going on vacation. What about heaven? Glory to God. What about heaven? When you think about it every day, what about heaven? Don't you want to go? You know that song say, oh, heaven, heaven is mine, hallelujah. That give you something to be overjoyed about every day. And that give you something, you know, not to just walk around with a scratch pad. So I got to do this, I got to. No, when you love the Lord and, and once you get it in your mind, you know why you're here. It's, it's easy. You get up and you lay down and you do the things that you know that's right. And that's why I said, praise God. It just means so much. And it says, listen at this. And we cannot be see, sanctified or conformed unless we become free from that which is human. See? Helps you to understand those human things are the laws of the flesh. It says we cannot be sanctified. He's not going to accept us. We got to get rid of it, okay? We got to put it to the side. Listen at this, precious heart. Step by step. Temptation by temptation. We put to death the lust of the flesh. Yes, step by step. And temptation by temptation, it let us know we weren't going to be tempted above something that's going to take us out. He done already prayed for us. So no matter what temptation it is, whether it's coming today, whether you're being tempted right now or tomorrow or the next day, guess what? You got the victory over it. All you got to do is believe it. And then you know what? You can just say no. No. It's just that simple. That same power that Jesus had invested in him, hallelujah, glory to God, you got it. It's in you. Yes, that's why you're so valuable. That's why you're so special. You got some tools and some ammunition. You just is just like dynamite. Yes. All you got to do is just say no. It's just that simple. You got power to say no to whatever you don't want to do. He invested it in you. You know how Jesus came down here in the flesh, right? He walked around. He said all these temptations was here. But guess what? He said, I don't want to be bothered with it. Because guess what? He got his power from his dad. You can do it. We're praying for you. You got it. Yes, when you wake up, say, I got it. This day, not gonna get, I don't care what's going on. I'm going to get this day just right because you know what? Jesus is going to help me today. I know it because I feel that he's going to help me because my mind feel better because you know what? I'm going to believe the word. And I don't believe that Jesus came down here. I don't believe he lied and said he came down here and left me some help and he left power. And I'm not going to try anyway. At least I'm going to try. But you know what? I don't believe he lying. I believe it's the truth. Do you believe it's true? I tell you, precious heart, it's true. You can do it. Yes. And it says, praise God, we become free, see, from the demand of the flesh by sacrificing our own will, see, sacrificing me, sacrificing what you want to do in the power of eternal spirit and deliberately seeking to do God's will. See, that's why I told you, precious heart, you can do God's will. That's why he made us. 
That is how we partake of sanctification. The way the body is wired, hey, can be changed. <laughs> Clap your hands and say, Satan, did you hear that? Say, you can't make me do nothing no more that I don't want to do. I thank the Lord for knowing, say, I just heard the word. And the word of God told me the way the body was wired with this sin already here, I already messed up. It let me know. I didn't come down here and mess up this world. When I got here, it was already messed up. But guess what? It can change. Hey, I felt that. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I felt that it can be changed. When you know that you know that you know you have been changed and you feel good about it. They say, the places I used to go, I don't go no more. The songs I used to sing, I don't sing no more. The talk I used to talk, I don't talk no more. The walk I used to walk, I don't walk no more. Praise God, precious heart. Guess what? Jesus did it. Yes, when you know what you used to do and you know you're not doing it anymore, that's to let you know the power of God is abiding down on the inside of you. Yes, that lets you know you got a reason to be happy. You got a reason to pick them up and put them down. Yeah, it doesn't matter what happens. How you got to do is say, I can do this. You know, just like the little train say, I think I can. I think I can. I just want to let you know, you can do this. By the help of the Almighty God. You got a reason to be excited. Because somebody said, help is on the way. And I just thank the Lord, like I said, step by step. When you start stepping, walking away from it, every step that you take, you're going to feel better. Every step that you take, and guess what? He's going to be holding your hand. You're taking a closer step and a closer step. And guess what? When you look behind, you done left all that you used to be doing. It's left. Because you're coming over on the Lord's side. And I just thank the Lord, you know, precious heart. It said, it can be transformed. And that's why, you know, I was just saying to you, praise God, there is nothing that you have done, praise God, that's too bad. Nothing. I don't care what nobody said to you to try to discourage you. Don't listen because there is nothing. He loves you more than that. There is nothing that you can do that's going to keep him from loving you because he has that agape love. And it goes on and on and on like the ever read the battle. Bunny. I just thank the Lord. He just keep on being and just telling you to keep on going. So praise God. I just come to let you know Jesus is saying right now, you just keep on stepping and just keep on going. Don't stop. You don't have to stop. I thank God for knowing you be encouraged, praise God. And keep looking to the hills from whence come at your help. When things get so bad, praise God, you need to turn your head and start looking toward heaven. It said, help me right now. And I thank the Lord for knowing there is help. When Jesus was growing up and when he would come up missing, they would always find him somewhere doing the will of his father. And I just thank the Lord, you know, today, praise God, whenever I'm missing, guess what? I'm gone somewhere doing the will of my father. And I just thank the Lord for knowing, praise God, all you got to do is get a mind. And once you get that mind saying that you want to do it, you can do it. And I just thank the Lord, you know, for knowing, praise God, there is always help. In whatever situation it is, 
you are never alone because the word of God let us know. Never alone. You don't have to worry. You know, he's going to be there with you, praise God. He's never going to abandon you. You know, sometimes children get abandoned by their parents or somebody else. But I just praise God for knowing Jesus will never abandon you. And I just thank the Lord, you know, for knowing, praise God, all you got to do is just keep your hand in the master's hand. And I just thank the Lord, you know, for knowing that once you keep your hand in the master's hand, everything is going to be all right. I just thank the Lord, you know, for knowing sometimes you feel like crying. But I just thank the Lord here. I'm here to encourage you, praise God. You're going to have tests and trials. You're going to have tribulations. You're going to have sickness. You're going to have some times where you may not can pay your bills. You're going to have some times where you may not have food on your table. But how many know somebody will knock on the door? How many know somebody will come and slip some money in your hand? How many know that sometimes Jesus will come wherever you are and step in the room and touch you, praise God? I know many times, praise God, I have been just feeling pain all in my body. I remember when I was lying up there in the hospital, praise God, and I was sick, praise God. But I just thank the Lord, you know, for knowing that I love the sun, rocket, praise God. And I just thank the Lord. I just lift my hand and just say I got one more round. But I just thank the Lord, you know, for knowing, praise God, somebody might have just one more round to go. But I come to let you know, precious heart, God going to be with you. I thank the Lord for knowing, never give up. I don't care how bad a situation be. You know, they always say, it ain't over to the fat lady sing. But I praise God. I want to let you know, praise God, she can't sing. I praise God for knowing that she stuffed up right now, praise God. She can't get the right note, praise God. I thank God for knowing she can't clear voice, praise God. I just thank the Lord for knowing all you got to do is just keep holding on. And I thank the Lord for knowing it looks like my time is up once again, praise God. But I enjoy being with you. I enjoy coming into your home, into your automobile to tell you, lift up your head. Lift up your head. You got a reason. Jesus loves you. And I say stay safe. Stay watchful. You got to watch at all times, right? You got to stay prayerful. You may not be able to go in your prayer room. You may not be able to go to your special place at home, but just pray wherever you are. You always keep that subconscious mind praying. How many know you got to stay strong? You got to stay strong. strong, that is going to give you a reason to hold on and live. I'll see you next time. And I just thank the Lord, precious heart, as we get ready to go out and you get ready to hear this song. It is dedicated to you. It's dedicated to me and all over the world. There is a place for you in the body of Christ. Because of his love. See you next time. There is a place for you. There is a place for you. In the body of Christ. Yes, there is a place for me. There is a place for me. There is a place for me. In the body of Christ. And I belong.
to love somebody like me For somebody like you She has to include me You could have left me out But you wouldn't have it that way When, when, when I stepped out of the line Your love stepped in my place Said I belong here I want to stay here